And in the Quran, the Surah says, Abu Lahab will be perished. Abu Lahab, in two lines of Shahada, could have disproved the Quran. Or if you look Surah 26, verse 214, he told the Holy Prophet, Go and tell your people about the beauty of this Qur'an. Tell your community first. No, tell your family first. Abu Lahab was sitting down within this gathering and the Holy Prophet came and addressed his family. He didn't want them to abandon the gift that he had. So he looked towards them and he said to them very clearly, he said to them, oh my dear family, if I told you there was an army coming from behind that mountain, would you believe me or no? They said, of course, Muhammad, you are a sadiq and al-ameen. If I were to tell you about the day of judgment and there's a day we're going to be questioned and that I am the prophet of God and that the Quran has been revealed to me, do you take my words or no? They looked at him, some of them were not certain, others of them wanted to believe, yet you found the first who abandoned the Quran. When Rasul Allah had placed it in front of him was Abu Lahab. Abu Lahab looked at him and he said, what do you mean? We have to submit to a law that we can't see. And we have to say that the black and the white are equal and that the men and the women are equal? He replied to him, yes. Then Rasulullah looked at them and he said, I promise whoever believes in my prophethood and doesn't abandon this book will be the Khalifa and the Wasi after me. And the young Amir al muminin stands up, says, Ya Rasulullah, I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. Abu Lahab, not a flinch, not a change. He listens to Rasulullah reciting the words of the Quran. He's not interested. Even afterwards, you know, Tabbat Yada Abi Lahabi Watab, the Surah, which was revealed about him. You know, it was revealed about him before he had died. Listen, if you were to ask many people, that Surah, is it revealed about him after he had died? No, that Surah is a prophecy about you. Imagine, just imagine that there's a Surah revealed in this Quran about me. I haven't passed away. And in the Quran, the Surah says, Abu Lahab will be perished. Abu Lahab, as one of my teachers once said to me, in two lines of shahada could have disproved the Quran. How? If Abu Lahab had said, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah, the Quran would be finished. Rasulullah had the confidence while Abu Lahab was alive to say, Tabbat yada Abi Lahab wa tab. Ma aghna anhu maluhu wa ma kasab. Sayasla naran zata lahab. Normally when you read this verse with 20-20 hindsight, you think, Wow, this verse was revealed after he died? No, while he's alive, Rasulullah is reciting in front of him that my Lord has revealed the verse to me. Don't abandon the verse. My Lord has revealed to me the verse. May Abu Lahab's hands be perished. Yes, his wealth and his children will be of no avail to him. Every day, if Abu Lahab had just said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammadun Rasulullah, Abu Lahab would have disproved the Quran, wouldn't he? In one moment, he would have disproved the Quran. Yet every day, Abu Lahab, no interest. The first to abandon the Qur'an of the Quraysh was whom? The first to abandon it was Abu Lahab.